Hello everyone, it's me, Pam P. Tonino, and um, I just wanted to share with you um, a flip through of what I've been working on, and I'm totally in love with it. Um, a while back, um, I made a uh, round jelly plate, and um, this was just one of the homemade um, jelly plates uh, using gelatin and glycerin. And I put this in a pie, um, in a pie plate, a glass pie, pie plate, and I had never used it. So I wanted to give it a try. And um, <laughs> let me just show you what it turned into. <laughs> Okay, so I hope that you enjoyed that. There are 27 pages done front and back. This was not intended. I was actually working on another project, and then um, as I was laying these dry, to dry out, they um, I was looking at them, and they just, I don't know, it, I just really started enjoying the enjoying this layout. And I thought about cutting them down so that they're an you know, a circle in the square, but I'm going to leave them as the rectangle for now because I do like the uh, outer edges here and that I was just using the brayer. But anyway, I'm just, you know, I was intending to do this, do some jelly printing um, for some projects that I'm working on and I am going to have to keep this. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but I'm loving it and keep in mind it is in the very very early stages so it's still tons of decoration I mean a lot of these pages are pretty cool to look at just as they are but um, there's still a lot of work that can be done and then for the for consistency I took um, the in ink tints um, blocks and I just went around just drew the circle 
uh, freehand and then went through and, and activated it with water. And um, so that way it's, uh, it's I, I didn't want a stark line. But, um, and then last night I was on Facebook and my friend Callie Black, she does the most amazing posts. I just love her posts and I love her channel. So if you're not familiar with Kelly, Callie Black, I would love to introduce you to her. Um, here is a, I'll put a link up to her channel and uh, do check her out. She, she has a fabulous blog and she is an amazing artist. And um, so do check her out. She does some really, really amazing art. Okay, so the post absolutely gave me chills. It says, in the circle, we are all equal. There is no one in front of you. There is nobody behind you. Nobody is above you and nobody is below you. The circle is sacred because it, because it is designed to create unity. And that's uh, Lakota wisdom. So I, I saw that and I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I was working with circles all day. Well, actually for two days. And, and then I see that post and I think that just speaks volumes. So, oh, and I almost forgot to show you my favorites because I have a favorites file. And um, so I these there's a couple of uh, pages here that were in my file from before, but I've never shown it to you. So this one here is one of my absolute favorites. This was um, from my first garden here at the house, and um, it was from a carrot top, and um, my little baby carrot only grew to be about the size of a quarter. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so I put the carrot top on while I was doing some jelly printing and I just love the way this came out and this is on fabric so um, so yeah this was that old fabric um, that I've been using up that I love so much and then um, this oh my gosh look at the sides here I just love that and this one, that's fun, that's fun. And as I get new favorites, um, sometimes they trump old favorites, and so the old favorites can be then used, but for the time being, I love this one, love that. Can tell I'm ready for autumn. So anyway, just wanted to share those with you. Those will go in my little personal file. And this one here is a piece that I had um, done a while ago. And I wish I could remember how I did that background because I am loving that. And, um, and then just everything on top. So I actually keep this on my desk because um, this piece is really inspiring me. So that's what got me to working with the jelly jelly plate again. I uh, just thought I'd share that one because this one here is definitely a favorite piece. Alright, thank you so much for watching.